Now this is the video with the exercises. And um, so I'm gonna go through the first drills and exercises. The first two drills. You're gonna be sitting down. Your right. Yes, your right leg. If you look from the side, my, my foot is down, I pull it up, right? Your ankle is going to be in that position. You pull the ankle up, right? And you're going to rotate your ankle out. This is rotating your ankle in, and this is rotating your ankle out. You want to hold that position. Something I often do, tell people to use something like a wall or something so they can keep their foot in that position, keeping that throughout this this drill, right? Your knees are locked. Now you're gonna you're gonna flex your spine, taking your chin to your chest, flexing all the way down your tailbone. You can rotate a little bit away. You'll feel a really good stretch. You go into it, hold for one, two, three, come out, hold for one, two, three, come out, hold for one, two, three, hold for one, two, three, hold for one, two, three. You're going to do that 10 times, right? And the next one is... For the left side, I'm using this, but you might can use a book or anything that would cause you to be have your have your foot up like that, right? So your all of your foot on the left foot would be like that. So your body is here, your knee is locked. You try to square your body; you'll feel a stretch straight down here in the groin, right? And just like before, you flex your spine, you rotate your spine away, and you're going to then rotate your kneecap inwards, or actually rotate your kneecap away, sorry, rotate your kneecap away. Right? You want to do that 10 times. The next thing you're going to do on the right side for your hamstring, you're going to raise your hip, rotate your hip out, rotate your hip in. All right, all for five in each time. And then you go straight from that. After that, you're gonna bend the knee as much as you could. Tuck your tail like that. You feel the hamstring and then you move the knee back, keeping that, holding that for five seconds. And then you repeat. You're gonna repeat going back to the stretch. Holding for five seconds. Rotating in and out, contracting for five seconds. You want to do that six times. The first two is just to get the movement. The next two is to really contract, feel like you can contract throughout the length of the muscle from attachment, from attachment to attachment. And the last two, you want to contract like about 70% or so of your max. The next one on the left side would be for your gracilis. So you're like this. You rotate your hip out. So your foot is rotated out. Square. Square your pelvis. And then you tuck your tail. You'll feel a stretch. Take your kneecap 
and rotate the kneecap away and you'll feel even more of a stretch. All right? And the contraction is you bring your leg up, rotate it in, take the knee, take the kneecap, rotate the kneecap in, and bring your knee across your body, keeping everything square, don't rotate your hips, keeping everything square, and you'll hold that for five seconds too, and you go back and forth like I mentioned before. You do the first two, try to get yourself the body positions right. The next two, you're doing, you wanna feel you're contracting that muscle from length from the knee all the way up here. And the last two, you wanna to try to contract them harder. So some of the contracting harder could come from rotating your hip in more, rotating that kneecap hard, and pulling it across. Now the next one is, we just did where you turn the hip out when you went back. Now what you'll do, you just go straight back, right? And when I say tuck your tail, I mean doing that, right? So you take the leg straight back, pointing straight ahead, and you tuck your tail and you'll feel a stretch right in this area, this, the upper part of the groin right here. And then the contraction is just like before, except there's no rotation of the hip. You bring the, you bring the hip across like that. And you're contracting these muscles. Now you can pull your pelvis, if you have the ability to pull your pelvis down when you're in this position, that will make the contraction even better. Again, six times you want to do this. And um, just as I described before. And the, I'll stop there.